Okay, today we're going to make some cinnamon raisin bread. I have a helper. My friend Hope's going to help me out while I'm fixing our computer. So this is a cinnamon raisin white bread. Um, it's another simple recipe. Tastes really good. We're going to try making a full-sized loaf, so hopefully it will come out well. And we'll do another uh, time-lapse video. So we're going to start with uh, a cup of water. Thank you. Uh, go ahead and put in the three tablespoons of sugar. Uh, one and a half teaspoons of salt. Um, two tablespoons of softened butter. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Next is three cups of baker's flour, bread flour. Put that in kind of slow. We don't want any of it to, uh, to pop out. Excellent. Um, now with your hand, make like a little crater in the middle. Okay. Now, uh, go ahead and put in the half a tablespoon of ground cinnamon. Just sort of sprinkle it around in there. And then in that crater in the middle, go ahead and put the two and a half teaspoons of the yeast. And the important thing is that the yeast doesn't come in contact with the liquids on the bottom. With a loaf of this size, that's highly unlikely. Unlike our basic white bread recipe, this one we're going to be adding a heaping cup of raisins uh, during the mix cycle. Um, if you had made the white bread with the DAC during the mixing, you might remember that the beeped three or four times and you didn't know what that was about. That is the point at which you add raisins, nuts, or whatever you're putting in your bread. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to set this up. It's going to mix the ingredients, proof them, then it's going to knead them. Uh, there's going to be three or four beeps during that. That's when we add our raisins. It'll finish kneading the bread. Then it'll finish proofing and bake. And we'll be back after we do this. Okay, and before hitting start, hit menu. Make sure it's on the sweet bread cycle. Not on manual, just on sweet bread. Then go ahead and hit start. Okay, what we're going to do now is uh, add the raisins uh, about five or ten minutes, I think it's ten minutes before the end of the, the knead cycle. Uh, the machine's going to beep like four or five times. That's the cue to put in the raisins. Uh, I'm putting them in a little bit early so I wanted to have time to set up the camera. But uh, we're just going to go ahead and dump them in and the machine will do the work. A lot of them are going to get like sort of just obliterated and mixed up in the dough. Um, the others will be all nice and whole on the inside. I had a mixture of regular raisins and golden raisins just because uh, those are particularly nice. Cereal.
Okay. Uh, the bread finished like five or six minutes ago. It's on the cooling cycle. Uh, I'm hoping it came out good because it looks uh, like it might be a little heavy, a little dense. Let's see. Yeah, it feels kind of doughy. I don't think this one came out so great. For the amount of dough that we made, I think this should have probably risen a lot more. But, let's check just in case. Here's the paddle. Yeah, the bottom's sunken. It's kind of doughy. Yeah. The inside is still dough. Something didn't quite go right with this recipe, so uh, I'll have to try again another day.